Today we are going to run 15 miles. Um, I think I told you guys in a video before, but I ran a marathon in April and that was 26.2 miles. Um, the training for that was definitely a lot. Um, but, um, and I'm not trying to run or train for a marathon for a little while now, but, um, I still have that endurance in me and that energy that gets a little bit pent up. So every other week or so, I go for a long run and it usually is between 10 to 15 miles. Um, I don't really go over 15 unless I'm going to do another marathon. There's really no reason for me. So about to run 15 miles. I'm going to bring you guys with me. My long runs are my time to reflect, learn, and just be with God. I listen to worship music on the way there, podcasts or sermons to listen to during the run. I pulled up to this trail that I usually run on because it's really long. First step, I gotta get all my layers. All right, guys, we got mad layers on. Running shoes, very important for a distance runner. You also have to change them every certain amount of miles. I usually end up changing them much later than I should and they get really worn down. A lot of mileage on these tires. Hoka, yes, I know it's like so, so mainstream right now, but once I tried this model, Hoka's, it was perfect because I had shin splints before and now the type of running shoes I have really matter and like it's expensive, but it's worth my, it's worth preventing injury. I'm wearing multiple pairs of pants. I'm only wearing one shirt because I find that if I keep the bottom half, like my legs really, really warm, then I'll get hot. But if my top part of my body is breathable, I don't get uncomfortable. It's pretty brick outside. So that's why I got a layer up. But um, obviously in the summer, these are much more of a vibe. You know, I gotta roll these jaws all the way up. And then these are my shin wraps. They basically just help absorb the impact when I'm running uh, from my shins so that I'm not destroying the bone again. You gotta train smart. Obviously, like this is something that I love like to run. So after I got injured, I was like, oh, I am still running. In the fall, running on this trail is so beautiful because the colors of the leaves are changing. Um, now everything just looks kind of dead. But also what's really important, uh, whether it's the summer, no matter the season, if you're gonna do a long run like this, there's a few important things. One, have the right shoes. Two, ooh, have something in your stomach. Three, drink water. Four, warm up and stretch after two. People sleep on that. Stretching after is the most important for a long run to recover. If you ever seen people after like a race or after like a game, like laying on their back with their legs up basically drains the lactic acids because that's where your body is getting energy from when you're not taking in enough oxygen fast enough to fuel your body it starts using the lactic acids i'm gonna show you guys i'm gonna do some warm-ups Ooh, it's a shiesty weather out here you got <laughs> gotta get me a shiesty once we once we warm up and we start running we'll be good but you know, I got me some gloves. These gloves with the phone sensor fingers. Such a great invention. Oh, it's nice and warm in here. <laughs> we better warm up right here. Bro, my hair is seriously a mess. All black. You know the vibes. With a pop of color. Pop of color. <laughs> so let's warm up.
before a workout, you wanna do dynamic stretching, which means you're moving while you're stretching the muscle. Range of motion that will stretch the muscle in a safe way, but actually get your heart rate up and get the blood flowing. After a workout is when you wanna do static stretching, is when your body will start to go back to being at rest, just stretching and holding. That's a mistake a lot of people make. Um, but this trail is actually really cool because it goes between two states. Seven miles this way, and I don't even know how far this way. I usually go this way. This way? Do you know the way? Today I'm gonna go this way. Let's get it. I'm about to set my... That is not a good sign. I'm running tracker on, and I'll check in with you, with you guys when we are like a quarter through. All right, you guys. We're crossing this bridge and we about to be in another state. So isn't that crazy? Wow. We're uh we're not halfway there yet. Feeling strong. The vibes are up. I always try to end with a sermon so that the last few miles of my run can be worship. Reflect on the message and that runner's high kicks in plus the worship music. You feel the Holy Spirit in you. Yo, this is so funny, bro. This is usually filled like a whole stream. It's giving that one SpongeBob episode. What is We're about halfway. Um, this is about as scenic as it gets in the winter around here. The sun came out, y'all. A little more than halfway. And Javabin, honestly. Less than a mile left. You already know, it's time to lock in. Let's go. All right, you guys. Somehow, I finished <laughs> the 15 miles a lot before. I'm supposed to finish past that bridge. But somehow, I finished the 15 cool down let our heart rate lower and then we're gonna do some uh some sprints some sprints some sprints or strides whatever you want to call them shout out to my high school running and competitive career for not only the dynamic warm-ups but the strides i used to hate them but for me now i like to use them to see one what's left in the tank two to because what if you immediately stop even if you're walking after a run your muscles are gonna get tight so it kind of rewarms them so that you can cool down slowly. Shut up. I don't know if that makes sense or if it even is true, but for me, that's what it feels like. As you get tired when you're running, your form deteriorates. Even if you don't realize it, why it's so important when you're distance running, your form. If you're running miles on end and you're jumping up and down in your strides, you're gonna destroy your joints. You know, it's important to really understand the technique of any sort of exercise before you make it harder or increase the intensity of it. That goes for lifting, that goes for running, martial arts, that's very true. Yoga, anything. Always get the technique first and then make it hard. All right, let's get into these sprints, you guys. Yes, sir. Get a few sprints. I'm about to just jog the rest. I bet you it's like a good quarter mile. I don't know. Sometimes if I go like out a certain direction for a certain distance, I add a little bit extra so that in case it's not exactly the same on the way back, it evens out. I guess I did too much this time. Okay, my one rule when I do these long runs is I don't stop until I hit the distance. Never back down, never what? That's how my endurance grew. When I started, I could only run three and a half miles without stopping. If you're just trying to do distance and not speed, it doesn't matter how fast you're going. You need that endurance and then you'll get faster. Run for as long as you can, it doesn't matter how slow, but just don't stop. I mean, long runs like this, I don't really care about my pace. I usually run around a 9.30 pace for my long runs like this, 9.30 per mile. A regular run, it's usually between five and seven miles. It will be like eight, 10 per mile. This is where I'm at right now. I'm not really competing. But we did pretty good today. I made it to where... Did I go the wrong way? I made it to where my car is. This restaurant right by a parking lot to enter the trail. Funny story, bro. One time I was here, 
I actually ran to this trail because it connects to a park, if you see that red thing up there. So anyway, I was, I was on this trail up here and I was running this way past the restaurant. I saw this guy on a hoverboard. I was like, interesting. And he waved, whatever. On my way back and I pass him again, he stopped at the liquor store. He was on his hoverboard with a six pack of beers and one open and hoverboarding back. And I was just like, I want to be you. Alrighty. So like I said, static stretching at the end of a run. Oh, how does my hair look? Does it look good? And I can put it in a bun. Anyways. Yeah, static stretch at the end. I'm not gonna lie, the sermon that I listened to was not hitting. All right, not every time, every time you hear a sermon, you're not always gonna, like, <laughs> resonate with it. <laughs> That's the word I was looking for. It's not always gonna resonate with you. Everyone has different experiences. Everyone is in a different uh, stage of their faith. It's about what you try to get out of it. And you know, when you reach out to God, he'll reach back. But this morning I did read something really good um, about being a young person who follows God. And I just wanna say in the world that we live in today, it's really hard to do that the right way because we need to support each other and no one's gonna get anywhere if we keep going on the track we're going in this world. That's just my two cents. I'm not gonna put the video up with that, but you know, it is important. I know some of you might think, 15 miles on Alea? What the heck? Like, why do you run? Why are you running? Why, why do you even like to run 50 feet? Um, some could say mental illness, but it's, it's really just, oh, dang. It's really just, um, it's kind of a way to unplug, which sounds crazy. It's like a way to relax mentally. I really want to go to a worship concert or, bro, they should make worship clubs instead of going to a club to just get wasted and do like a uh, promiscuous, promiscuous it's like not nah. instead of like going to be like promiscuous and stuff they should just have clubs where they just blast worship music that is a kind of party that would be so fire and you probably meet really cool people they probably do have that but if they do they need to make more Ooh. Uh, in the car, <laughs> clearly. Dressed it out, uh, and when I go home, I'm gonna foam roll. Even if you're not like someone that exercises regularly, foam rolling is so good for your body. Recovery is just as important as the hard work that you put in to exercise. If you're not treating your body well and taking care of it, you're not gonna be able to perform as well as you want. So speaking of, Always after your long run or after any workout, drink water after a long run, drink water. Stretch, drink water. Drain your lactic acids, which I'm gonna do when I go home. Ugh, water's so good. Fun fact, after any meal I eat, I chug water to the point where I can't breathe. I don't know why. Also, this is not a Stanley Cup, this is from Five Below. Anyway, <laughs> when I go home, I'm gonna eat. But if you really want to see results, you have to eat well too. Fitness starts in the kitchen. You have to eat a high protein diet. Also, every time I do a run like this, I'm just very grateful that I'm healthy. I'm physically able to walk, run, let alone as much that I do run. It's really things that we take for granted. Like when you're sick and you can't breathe out of your nose, how much more do you appreciate breathing out of your nose when you're not sick? I start making it a habit that every time every time before and after my workout that I thank God even able to use my body to exercise and that I can even use that to glorify him hopefully that's that God bless you guys I hope you found it interesting this 15 mile run in the winter with me I can't wait for it to be warm I can't wait for it to be warm I'm actually going on a little quick vacay soon so I'm gonna get me some sun talk to you guys later thank you for watching the video i really appreciate it this is for fun but you know the support is always appreciated so i'm about to go home get cleaned up but god bless take care and thanks for watching